Hi, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. Welcome to our channel and welcome to our kitchen. We're going to do a wonderful fun thing inside today on a 10 inch cast iron griddle, which I love to cook on that and it's going to be a focaccia bread. Not very many ingredients, incredibly simple. All it has is flour, yeast, salt, uh, oregano, olive oil, and warm water, which I've got warm sitting here. All right, we're going to get started here. Okay, what I've gone ahead and done is put all my ingredients into this wonderful mixing bowl that I love. And it is two cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of this active dry yeast, half a teaspoon of salt, and um, I put my olive oil in my nice warm water here. And I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and mix this up so it's mixed up real well. And then the water is just three quarters of a cup of warm water and two tablespoons of olive oil. And this dough will be sticky. I'm going to mix this together real well. We're just going to let it rise in this bowl. We'll let it double in size. I'm going to cover it with saran wrap, put it in a nice warm place, and then we'll put it out on our cast iron skillet, or griddle, excuse me, and let that rise again, and then we're going to bake it in the oven. So there we go. Well, my dough doubled in size, and then I put it on my prepared cast iron griddle. I put olive oil on the bottom, stretched it out so it fit this. And now I'm going to kind of go along here with my finger and poke holes every now and then. And then I'm going to brush it with some wonderful rosemary olive oil that I get from this really neat place. I hope you're enjoying this with us today. Just remember to please subscribe hit that like button and share with all of your family and friends. You don't need very much. And I'm going to brush this all over here and then we're going to let this rise again, like I said, and let it double in size. Then we're going to bake it in my oven at 400 for about 25 minutes till it's golden brown. Now I'm sprinkling this with a little bit of garlic salt. Oh my goodness, this is going to be wonderful. You know, and you can put Parmesan cheese on it too if you like. But this is what we're doing today because it's going to go with, we're having kind of an Italian dish tonight. And so this will go perfect with that. And what I like to do sometimes if I have like a roasted chicken or something, I will put some fresh rosemary on top. Now, doesn't that look beautiful? All right. I'm going to cover this with a little piece of saran wrap and let it rise and double in size, and then we'll bake it. Thank you. We'll see you in a little bit when it's all done. As you can see, this focaccia bread got done. The last five minutes of baking, what I did is I sprinkled it with some pressure grated Parmesan cheese, Oh my, we're going to let this cool a little bit and then have it with our dinner. I wanted to tell you also that we have a y uh, website. It's wyomingdutchovencooking.com. If you go to that website, we have a really wonderful user's guide that tells you all the tips and care for all kinds of cast iron, including that griddle that I used today. And we also have free recipes. And also we have a lot of the things we love to cook with, spices, just all kinds of things. And thank you for joining us today. Of course, our, our motto is great food, share with family and friends equals great times. Until we meet again, thank you.